Hi everyone. So today I have a very experimental workflow. This is something I have been trying to do for a lot of days now and I'll don't worry I'll show a lot of different uh, variations as well. This is basically the aesthetic transfer. So what do you mean by aesthetic transfer, right? The main point is I would take an image, right? And I would take a completely different image and what I want is to copy just the color grading as well as the aesthetics of it for example it has fire or let's say someone is wearing a leather jacket so what i want is that the output should be of something made of leather you know or similarly uh, things like that maybe the hairstyle is different so i want hairstyle like the image but not the exact variation of the image that i am providing the problem which i was facing with redux or depth is that for depth you have to extensively start like prompting and even if you take the prompt from this particular image and try to uh, include it with the depth maps it doesn't work perfectly it doesn't give give that exact uh, essence of this image right and the problem with redux was that if i am using redux normally it generally creates the variation of this particular image from which i want to take the aesthetics and after that what happens is that uh, if you start reducing the weightage of redux it actually starts reducing even the style and aesthetics of this image as well so it becomes somewhere in between and that becomes somehow problematic now the interesting thing is if i am using redux with depth and i try to increase the redux uh, weightage as well as depth i have seen there was uh, like deformations in the images i was not able to just extract a style from uh, a particular image and uh, convert it into my output so the way i am doing this in this is this is actually a slightly long process but don't worry it is a one click process you don't even have to prompt anything you can see what i have done is this is the image this is the uh, style you can say like the style reference or the aesthetic reference for it and actually i am using ip adapter for uh, sdxl and i am using a turbo model so it's just 10 steps so it's not a big deal and it is creating a like it is creating the image just how ip adapter works but obviously it is not a very high quality sdxl is not capable of doing those things now the interesting part is what i am doing in this i am taking this particular image right and then using the redux model so you can see i am applying the redux here i am taking this image and it is on the highest image strength and with this right and with this as a reference for the style i am also using the depth so i am using the depth lora you can see and i am also using another lora ultra real to give it more realistic vibes and ultra real has a very good tendency that it does not mess up hands so uh, that is very important now when i already have this particular depth map i am again taking this image and like rather than creating a completely blank latent of denoising everything i am denoising z 0.82 and this is something you may need to vary depending on what kind of image you have so i have this particular image you can see the fire is from her head but it is not completely integrated if you play a little bit with the denoising you can get pretty interesting images here you can see we have almost copied the color grading and it has taken some elements from it like it has took the fire you can see the glow behind it so it looks like that uh, the fire is behind her and also the glow is on this particular i think this is a pillar of some sort right and uh, again you can see the face the dressing everything is very similar to this pose but the aesthetics have been taken from this image and this is a way bigger upgrade from this if you just denoise it more so the problem starts that when you uh, denoise it completely like uh, if i am using this image just for image to image you won't get such good results and you can see in the other images as well i'll come back to this so uh, what i am doing is that i am taking slightly like keeping uh, i am not completely denoising slightly keeping the image and then it is running for around 25 uh, steps and 
also there is the redux model working here right so we get pretty interesting uh, images with uh, like kind of less deformation now you will have to play around a little bit with the denoising here and if you want to uh, try out different things you can slightly play with the image strength as well it can i have put it to highest to take exact particular uh, style you can slightly vary if you want to ch give some variation now coming to the images that i have created here you can see so this was the image as a reference you can see there are deserts there are two kids with red balloons right and this was the image now again this image is actually here you can see there is a switch for the overlaid when you select three it will go to overlaid right so you can take this image you can take any background and it will actually uh, overlay the subject on the background and then use depth map for it so you can create in interesting uh, depth maps as well so I took the window and it is taking the context of the window as well. It is a different kind of window here. You can see the pose is almost the same. And here you can see that uh, there is a desert behind uh, her window. And there are those lines. You see these lines. There are those lines in uh, this like sand or I don't know what it is exactly there are small houses so it pretty much gets what we want and you can see also the color grading is pretty good right second i have taken like the normal uh, photo image and this is a uh, still from a very old movie so here you can see and that's the thing this is not just copying the color grading this is also copying kind of the hairstyle we want right so you can see uh, this is like uh, this kind of hairstyle was popular in uh, back in the days so the hairstyle here is pretty much like that and here you can see like uh, this outfit of her is slightly shiny or it looks shiny so that is what uh, is going on here as well so this is the whole thing and it also changes the background and everything according to this so here you can see there are curtains so it has also provided the curtains here so it is uh, trying to take from this image but completely applying on this and i was not able to reproduce these kind of images with just the depth map and using a redux with this image because it was slightly distorting that was my problem and this is another one so you can see that uh, now sometimes you would get some small artifacts like here you can see but uh, rather than that this is the image this is uh, like the color gl grading and theme and you can see it has kept this like leather outfit as well but it has also taken like uh, the pattern from the background uh, the wall here and it is on this particular like sofa couch and uh, everything like the color grading and even uh, slightly you can see like the hair color and everything the hair color has changed here so this is something which I find pretty interesting and yeah you can play around with it and if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of questions so just let me know you will find the links to this workflow and all the models that I have used in this particular workflow in the description below and if you have any kind of doubt just put it in the comment section below and I will try to reply as fast as I can. Thank you.